Good morning. It's uh, Saturday, June 22nd. Skipped yesterday. Most exciting thing that happened yesterday is the weekend began. We came home, worked around some editing and such. But, um, but not just any weekend. Nice long weekend. This is the first of five days that I have off. Um, I had my weekend, and then I took three vacation days. Family's going out, Lake the Ozarks, Mike's relative has a, like a lake house down there, something, so, uh, we're not going, like, actually over the weekend, because apparently it's really crowded or something, but we figure if we go during the weekdays, a little less crowded. So the idea, the theory is three days. There's a good chance I'm only gonna stay two. There's a good chance I will sleep there the first night and decide I'm I'm coming home to the waterbed <laughs> the following. So I don't know that, but like I'll be driving separately. Um, yeah, so I got a got a fun weekend, some fun time with family coming up. Um, but yeah, so I'm up and I'm like, well, what do I want to do? I'm kind of hungry. I'm like, well, do I want to go get donuts? I'm like, I don't really want to go get donuts. I don't need to do that. I can just make some cake. Here I come. <laughs> um, and as I'm, I'm looking into it, I'm remembering, oh yeah, the reason I usually do brownies instead of cake is cake is more work. For example, cake requires me to pull out the mixer. Like, really? Just glad I have one. <laughs> But otherwise, you know, it's kind of waking up for the day. By the time I'm fully awake, I suppose I'll have some cake, right? Also, like, since I, I mean, because I don't plan to take it with me, I pretty much have today, tomorrow, and just the morning of Monday to eat it all. So, I was like, I can do that. If I get started now, if I wait till this evening to cook it, I don't know if I could. But I'm like, I gotta get it started now, so I have plenty of time to eat a full cake. All right. So I got the cake cooling down, so I'll be able to have that here in a little bit, ice it and such, but, uh, you know, it's raining, can't really, like, record anything right now, so I got Nick, and we're going out to eat. Uh, we are going to go to El Rancho Nuevo, get some Mexican food, because um, I was mentioning that there was a... Uh, Mexican place opened up where uh, Pizza Street used to be, which made me want Mexican food, but we don't want to risk trying somewhere new. Let's go with the place we know is good. <laughs> so. El Rancho Nuevo. It's so rainy out. It's rainy and windy. Yeah, it's quite windy. <laughs> Their sauce is like really good. I I very much enjoy it, especially you get a nice cilantro bite. I saw whatever on Facebook earlier in the week, like you know, praise God I didn't get that cilantro hating gene, and I'm like, yeah, <laughs> it's delicious. I feel sorry for people that think it's like so. <laughs> Their life must be sad. And so after finishing most of the. The container of chips. Uh, not only did I get my quesadilla grande as normal, I also got a taco and told him to bring more chips because my eyes are way bigger than my stomach, most likely. But you know what? It looks so good and I am so hungry. <laughs> Yours looks the same as it does. Messy. <laughs> it looks like they put a sauce on top of it. They did. Ew. That, that's cheese. <laughs> Why would you want that? I don't. That would make it messy. Nah, I was wrong. I uh, finished my taco, quesadillas, and I've been making my way through the chips. It's too good to get full on. It tastes too good. You can't get full when it tastes that good. You are wrong. What? How so? You can't physically get full. There's only so much room in your stomach. I got myself a bottomless pit. That's not true. <laughs> And so while we was out, Nick said we can go like to Fantasy Shop and Half Price Books. Because he had some stuff he wanted to, to pick up. 
and I like both of those stores. I like to go to them. I don't really have money, but they're fun to be at, so that gives me a reason to go. So I'm just doing a little, a little bit of shopping. It's called role-playing guides, but it looks to be currently a lot more minis gaming. <laughs> yeah, so you know, basically that's a bathroom reader for you. I think you spend too much time in there if you need something to read. Yeah, it's just click, 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 read page. Oh yeah, you're going to the fancy shop. You look at the little master set. Dwarven Forge they got here. Pretty much what they got left left of their collection. Oh, and that boat, that boat's new. That boat's like two hundred dollars. <laughs> Not that I've looked into it or anything. And uh, Nick got his uh, own uh, bundle of War of the Spark. So I guess he's gonna open that. I'll let you know if he gets anything real good. He got a mythic mm -hmm. so far. Yeah, God Eternal Ubuntu. Oh yeah, from the Amenkhet, that, that would be why it would be a god. Menace, and there's Battlefield, Sacrifice, any number of other permanents, then draw that many cards. And when it dies, put it into exile from the battlefield, or it's put it from exile. You may put it onto its owner's library, third from the top. I'm not dead, I'm coming back. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you're god zombie, so you are dead, but... <laughs> But you're going to continue to be around while being dead. Yeah. It was swell. Mm -hmm. Adios. So Nick uh, opened his packs and headed out after that. I figured uh, he'd probably make, want to make a deck, and so I'd have to do the same. But he wanted to go home, so didn't actually play. I think he got one Mythic, which uh, is more than I got. But otherwise... You know, it's nice hanging out with him. Just, uh, relaxing. Been looking at. I feel silly to say it because I've sort of been looking at Dwarven Forge stuff some more. Oh well. I've also been looking a bit into uh, the Acquisitions Incorporated book that just came out. Um, because when they promoted it, they're, you know, they didn't do a very good job. Now I'm starting to see some reviews of it, and it's like, oh, there's other sections of there, like, with stuff that I would be interested in. Um, so I took a look at it while we were up at Fantasy Shop briefly, and I'm like, I don't necessarily like the flavor. It has a lot more tongue-in-cheek, silly flavor than I would like. But the general idea of you have an organization that goes on adventure kind of thing and, and that kind of thing. I mean, that's something my players would like, so, you know, I'll think about it. Otherwise, uh, cake should hopefully be cool enough I can ice it. Let's have some cake. And that wasn't as easy uh, as it could have been. Definitely some spots where the cake is trying to come up through the icing, but, uh, well, it's a moist cake. What do you expect? Now, because it's not like I ate an excessively large amount of food at uh, El Rancho Nuevo. It's just cake. Can't get full on cake. There's always room for cake. They're out there mowing now. For most of the morning, I couldn't film because it's was thunderstorming and I finally stopped. Now I can't record anything because they're out there mowing back and forth outside the window. I don't know. At this point, I'm I'm probably not gonna get any done today because they keep going by. <laughs> but uh, I need to get uh, some video games recorded. Hopefully, this weekend, because uh, I haven't done that in like a month at least. No. Listen, I suppose I should just eat more cake and uh, spend a few hours just 
hanging out with friends on Discord. Um, I did uh, pull out a, at least the first few games to make sure I, I have something to bring when going down uh, out to the, the lake. So we'll have some games to pay with, pay with family there. Uh, and I took out laptop. I disconnected it from the little spot where it sort of stays uh, on the shelf and um, moved some files to it. Um, a few months ago, I went to um, uh, the DMs Guild, I think it is, whatever, the D&D site where people can publish their own stuff, um, and I got a bunch of uh, just, you know, pay what you want or free documents. Um, I just downloaded huge numbers of them that seemed like they might be interesting or helpful with the game, but I haven't really been able to use them. First, they would need to move to the laptop, All right, that's been done. But I didn't bother, like, hurrying up to do that, because I would also have to sort and organize them into folders that are easy to, for me to look at and, in a glance, be like, oh, I need this one here. Uh, but I figured there's probably going to be times, points, well, out there, where I wake up and everyone else is still asleep. And, uh, so I figured that would be a good thing to have around to, to be able to do, is just sort of sort that while I wait. So yeah, I figured I'd, you know, get that ready. So just the few, first few steps of preparing things. And I, I figured it doesn't matter if I put stuff on this table. I'm not going to film any of the unboxings tomorrow. Um, but I also rewatched the um, the last Diablo 2 episode I recorded. Uh, because I am hoping to push forward in that game, record a bit more of that tomorrow. I, um... I don't know, it's just late enough in the day, throat's not feeling perfect, a little bit of a headache just from being late in the day, and starting to get tired, I'm like, I'll do that tomorrow. Now, it's not super late, but I'm thinking I'm actually going to go to bed earlier than I would normally go, even, you know, do even on a weekday, so that I will wake up early tomorrow, and therefore could uh, try and get, uh, you know, have time maybe to record some stuff before going to church. So, it's kind of my thought. But, you know, before going to bed, I figure, you know, and I did have a big lunch. But I still have some room left to have a little more cake. So, I figure I'll just, just have a little bit of cake. Not like room for that. And following this, I will be uh, probably laying down, trying to get to bed. So I say, uh, you know, thank you for joining me. and. Join me as my journey continues. Bye.